So today on Suburban Sill, since it's springtime, and a lot of my plants are looking a little funky, they're a little stretched out, some of them, they just need a fresh start. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit, just like this Crassula, Crazy Crassula Conjuncta. So what I'm going to do is repot it, um, behead it, and set it up in a nice new terracotta pot. I'm also gonna get rid of this cement planter. Um, it looks really cute. I like the way it looks, but it didn't have a hole, so I had to drill my own drainage hole. And now when I water, I don't feel like it's draining properly. It's almost as if there's something lodged in the hole, the little hole that I drilled. So. I want to get rid of it. I also want to talk about top um, top dressing. So also looks really cool, but look at these little pebbles are turning yellow. And I top dressed over a bunch of pumice. That's what this is. Um, that's what this is potted in. It's just like this cool cactus pumice mix that I found. So it's fine. But if you do a top dressing over cactus soil, I've noticed unless you put a ton of top dressing on, the soil just bubbles up to the top and it just makes it all dirty. So I'm, I'm not a fan of top dressing. Also, if the rocks get stuck around the, the uh, stem here, it will cause root rot. So, or stem rot, I guess I should say. So we're going to get rid of it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna behead my Crisula conjuncta. I've already cleaned my scissors with some rubbing alcohol. Gave it a good spray and good clean. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut the heads off at a good length. Let's just, let's just dig in. Now I'm gonna leave some stem on here because I've done this one other time and if it's just too close to the leaf, it won't stand up very well. So we're just gonna cut Oh, it hurts. I know. It hurts me more than it, well, it probably hurts you more than it hurts me. Look at that beautiful rosette. It's lovely with the red margins. Lovely. Let's give this one a nice chop. Right about there. Okay. And one more. Let's do it. Okay, so my longest, stringiest um, Crisula cuttings, I'm just gonna set aside. So if you notice, the stem is kind of woody on Crisula. Um, so I, I might let it sit out for a little bit to dry up, but I don't know that it needs to dry up a ton. And these leaves look a little wrinkled, so it, it needs some water. Set those aside. Next, I got my tray, got my cactus mix, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dump it. I'm just gonna dump it carefully. Carefully dump. Ooh, look at that. Definitely dry. We've got some river rock in there. Kind of break it up. Oop, she's coming. A little wiggle. I feel like I need a little, I need a little tool. I need my, I need my chopstick. Chopstick in hand. Kind of 
break up the sides a little bit. gonna go around the edges I don't want to damage any of the roots too much you can already kind of see since it is just in this rock here it kind of let's see if we pat the bottom a little bit oh oh yeah come on baby like spanking a baby's butt you know some of the roots have adhered to the side of this cement pot maybe that's another lesson why you don't use concrete huh Here we go. A little tough love. For Pete's sakes. Oh yeah, we've got, yeah, this is ready to be repotted. Ta-da! So there we go. It's dry, which is just fine. So let me set that to the side here. Now I, for my succulents, only use terracotta, which is what I'm gonna use, and I know, don't reuse, don't reuse soil. Oh, dust in my mouth. <coughs> but I'm gonna reuse some of this rock, because I like it. Some of this pumice. Actually, I don't really want any of that white stuff in there. Try to avoid that. give it really good drainage. Put some of these roots down there though. Let's see, now it's obviously really important that you repot it at the same level that it was just sitting at. Pretty good, actually. So what I wanna do, honestly, I'm gonna add some cactus mix in with some of my river rock, why? Because I want it to hold a little bit more moisture when I put my cuttings in there. I don't know if that's necessary, but that's just what I do. You know what, and I'm gonna kind of plant it kind of off to the side because I'm gonna stick my new ones kind of probably to the back. Maybe let's move it forward a little bit here. I don't know, I think that's okay. Dusty job, but someone's got to do it. Ugh. Okay, simple, easy peasy. I've repotted my Crassula conjuncta, and uh, now I'm just gonna put in the 
put in the new cuttings here in a minute. So. so there you have it. Not so crazy anymore. So it's been a couple of days. I've let my crassula dry out a little bit. Let everything kind of settle in my pot. Um, and now I'm just gonna do a little, I'm just gonna kind of set these in how I want them to look. Maybe kind of in the back here, see if I can't get it to, just kind of put the dirt in around it. See if I can kind of get it to stand up a little bit. Now you can root these in water. And that may be my next bed if I can't get them to stand in here. Maybe I should remove, like, a set of leaves. But I'm just going to set it in there. I'm just going to prop that one up for now. set in there and I'm going to give this a nice watering because it could use it. It really could. Water it till the water runs out the bottom. So I know, oh, there it goes, just like that. my pot it's all full looks lovely and uh, there you have it my new crassula conjuncta um, arrangement now the ends that I cut they're likely gonna branch off um, just kind of like this one has three um, this actually was one that when I bought the plant it fell off and from this injury sprouted these three beautiful um, branches. So I anticipate that's what's going to happen to the other areas that I cut. So I look forward to um, seeing how this plays out. Thank you for checking out my video today. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Um, and yeah, follow along for daily updates on my Instagram at SuburbanSill. And you can check out more plant fun at my website, SuburbanSill.com. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you next time.